Jack at Walks News, I'm Jack and this is only going to be a very quick DSY newscast, so you know what, let's just get straight into it. As two weeks ago, the president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, and chairman of Disney Parks Experience and Products, Josh Tomorrow, held an exclusive media briefing where they discussed the upcoming Avengers Campus that is set to open on June 4th at Disney California Venture. However, also part of this presentation was a glimpse at the new technology that Imagineering has been developing. But much to our chagrin at the time, no footage was released to the public. Or at least that was the case until today. As we now have this incredible first look, thanks to TechCrunch's Matthew Panzerino, who has received exclusive access from Disney for this great article that I highly recommend checking out, and I'll link to it down below. But now let's dive into it, as what we're looking at is called Project Kiwi, which is Walt Disney Imagineering's early conceptual exploration project into bipedal advanced robotics coupled with animatronic technology, with the goal of creating a completely self-balancing, independently walking animatronic character at true-to-life scale. And from the looks of things from the video footage alone, it certainly seems that Imagineering has made huge leaps towards this end goal, as despite this only being an exploration test project and nowhere near ready to be deployed in the real world scenarios, what the Project Kiwi team has already achieved in only three years of research and development is a milestone breakthrough, not only for the Disney parks or themed entertainment, but also within the robotics industry as well. And that's because this is coupling together bipedal robotics with animatronic facial expressions with onboard human robot interactions through what is called a sensing package. And all of this is kind of like if Boston Dynamics, who are the industry leaders in self balancing advanced robotics, worked with Hanson Robotics and their Sophia artificial intelligent humanoid robot to create one singular figure. But of course, this group figure couldn't compete in terms of complexity within the individual fields of robotics, of Boston Dynamics or Hanson Robotics. But instead, Imagineering is wanting to dabble a little bit in both. And the reason for why they're doing this is because they need an amalgamation of both types of robotics to realize their goal of true-to-life character interaction in the parks. But now, like myself, you're probably wondering how does this exactly work? And well, needless to say, it's extremely complicated. But what we can do is we can distill it down to its most basic principles, as essentially it is all made possible through its innovative skeleton design that was inspired by the human skeleton as the main objective was to make this figure as light as possible. As the lighter it is, the less power it will need, and more realistically it will be able to move with up to 50 degrees of freedom. So the Project Kiwi team first started with custom printed polymer, before moving to milled and cast armatures and segments to form an industrial printed metal skeleton that is actually hollow. And this metal skeleton has what is called a marrow conduit that allows for air to flow throughout the figure, cooling the actuators and the motors. And then to make it independently stand and walk, the legs has a system that uses a kinetic counterbalance that disperses the energy of the figure's natural gait across custom gears and joints, so that the feet placement, or the feet plant, is the only base it can use to support its body. And on top of all of this, there is also a sensing software package that makes this two and a half foot tall Groot as realistic as possible, as the animatronic figure can maintain eye contact, sense motion and gestures, and can adapt in real time with human robot interactions, which will be vital when within the Disney parks. But of course, this is just the beginning, as we've seen them testing autonomous droids such as Jake around the parks in the past, and we're also going to be seeing the first ever autonomous Stuntronic robot with Spider-Man web-slinging his way above Avengers Campus when it opens in June. But importantly, Imagineering has designed Project Kiwi, not just for the Groot animatronic, but with the intention to scale and use this technology for any kind of out-of-this-world character, be it in science fiction or in fantasy. As I could easily see this reskinned for a Yoda meet and greet, or to even make the iconic Seven Dwarfs true to scale as well. But either way, one thing is very clear, and that is with Imagineering continuing to push the limits of what is technologically possible, the future of the Disney Park experience is going to be unlike anything we've seen before. 
But now, it's over to you, the Waltoners. I would like to know what are your thoughts and opinions about this advanced robotic technology within the Disney parks and where could you see it being used? And also, what character would you love to see Imagineering bring to life using this cutting-edge technology? And of course, as always, don't forget to put the timestamp for where the hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within today's video along with your suggestion or your comment. So therefore, that way, you're in with a chance to win one of these official DSY Newscasts Avengers-inspired Waltoneer pins. And so that's it for today, so be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to the channel, turn on the notification bell if you've already subscribed, and if you've enjoyed today's video then be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.